It's fall in the Northern Hemisphere, and many birds are migrating south to their wintering grounds. There have been many times when I'll be sitting at a stoplight or out taking a walk when I see a flock of Canada geese flying north or east or west, basically anywhere other than south. It would seem as though they're going the wrong way, but are they? Well, it might not be what it seems. Let's explore a few ideas of why geese, or other birds, might be going in the wrong direction. The first reason is that migratory flyways aren't exactly linear. These are routes birds take to move between their breeding and wintering grounds. They're generalized pathways that often follow coastlines, rivers, or mountain ranges. Since it can encompass a broad area, travel within them may not always be a direct north-south orientation, although the overall movement is going north or south. It's like if you're taking a road trip and you're going south on the interstate, but at some point you're going southeast, or even directly east, although your overall direction is southward. The second reason is that geese may be stopping to rest and look for food. This means that they may fly in any direction to get to the nearest body of water where they can be safe while they recharge and get something to eat. To use the road trip analogy again, it's like getting off the highway and driving a couple of streets in a different direction to go to a hotel or restaurant. Number three is that the geese in question may be migrating or they may be residents. If they're local geese who live there year-round, they're moving from one feeding area to another and will go in any direction at any time. Number four is molt migration. This is when first and second year geese who are not old enough to breed, as well as those who lost their nests early in the breeding season, migrate to a large body of water where they will be safe while they molt their wing feathers. They are temporarily flightless during this time, so finding a large body of water is imperative. It provides them with a food source and keeps them safe from land predators. This usually takes place during September and October, so whether they are going to this location or leaving it is why they may be seen flying in any direction. Number five is misorientation. I'm getting slightly off topic here as this is more specific to songbirds than to geese, but it's worth mentioning. Misorientation is when a bird changes its orientation and ends up outside of its range. For example, a western tanager showing up in Michigan instead of Mexico. A bird outside of its range is called a vagrant and is more common in first-year birds. There are a number of factors that can cause vagrancy, but weather is one of them, as strong winds and storms can push birds off course. Do you have any other thoughts of why geese fly in the wrong direction that you'd like to add to this list? Or if you'd like to learn more about migrations that got off course, let me know that too. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. That's all for this time. I'll see you again soon.